Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for all of the background noise. I have three kids here right now. One is trying to go to sleep. So I still watch that little girl, but I only watch her two days a week. And today she is, whew, she is kicking my butt. She's having a rough day. So I'm trying to get her to go down for a nap and there's music in the background. So I'm so sorry for that. But let's just get straight into it. So I really actually wasn't expecting to have more than a hundred dollar paycheck for this week, just with how everything fell with um, Matt's military and all that stuff. So we actually ended up getting an additional $204 and 76 cents from Matt's military, which was awesome. Um, side hustle, we got 113.57. And then we rolled over a huge amount of money because as you remember, or if you're new here, I basically paid for two weeks of bills with the last paycheck that we got, which brought our income total for this week to $2,509.87. So for this week, for our bills, we have Dash Pass, which is 10, um, Alta Pest Control, which is 38, car payment, which is $510. So this is actually for February. Um, $510, TRICARE $239, groceries $200, cushion $300, gas $50, and then USAA, which is our credit card, which we pay off every single week, is $959. So then for our bill total, it was $2,306, which left us with $203.87 to stuff into our envelopes. It's like I started filming and <laughs> they come sit right next to where I'm at. All right, so for our sinking funds, it's going to be kids. We'll get 100. Healthcare, we'll get 20. Camping slash trips, we'll get 20. Once we have new baby, I'm actually planning to move that to 25. So for each person in our household, it'll be $5 a month, basically, is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so that'll be 20 for now. Debt snowball will be 47. And then zakah, which if you are new here, or if you don't know, if you don't know zakah is basically the Islamic equivalent of charity. And so for that, this week, I will be giving it $16, which will bring our sinking fund total to $203 and then 87 cents will be left but we don't play with change so we'll just leave that into our account so let's stuff them Alrighty, let's get straight into it because I am very excited to get this stuffed because I was supposed to do this three days ago and it has been so stinking busy we cannot find the time to do it so I don't like carrying this money in my wallet. So what we're going to do is the Zika, which is going to be $16. So it's going to be one, what is the day today? Actually it's two, but we'll put 131 since it's supposed to be for January. Um, we're gonna save plus 16 equals, what is that? Nine, $39 into there, awesome. So we are going to do one $10 bill, one $5 bill, and one $1 bill into there. And then we'll put this all together. All right, so all together we should have $39 in here. So it's gonna be 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Awesome. All right, there is that. Next one is going to be, we're just gonna go as we go. Next one is going to be, all the way back here oh my goodness kids kids is going to get one hundred dollars and this is just extra money that i'm putting in there this doesn't count for february so this is just going to be extra that i want because we're in the middle of renovating their rooms so we're going to add an extra hundred into there we're going to push save i'm going to put january so that i know that i'm not um doing it for February, $100. And that will bring it to $211 in two kids. So what we're gonna do for kids is we're gonna do three 20s. One, two, three. We're gonna do one, two tens. We're gonna do one, two fives. And then we're gonna do a lot of ones, probably all these actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Into there. All right. All right. So all together we should have $100. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. All right. There's that. Into there. Ah. And there is that. So all together we should have 211. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, two. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So $211. Like I said, we are renovating. So I just wanted to add a little bit more into there since we had it, which was such a blessing. Thank you, God. So we just put some more into there because kids always seem to need something. Okay, sorry guys if everything looks different. My husband called me and I had to answer the phone and everything like that. So well, let's get into it. So the next envelope is going to be healthcare. Now this is a new envelope that I added in 2021 because we just had like a whole bunch of health things that came up, like bills from a year ago. And I was like completely not prepared. And so I thought, you know what? Like I don't really wanna get in that situation ever again. So we are just gonna start saving from now on. So what my plan is with this again is to do for right now, because pretty much all of our extra cash is going to our midwife right now for this baby. So after we are done paying for that, I'm gonna hopefully be putting more into here. But for right now, I'm just doing $5 for each person in the household per month. So, because that's pretty much all we can really spare for healthcare right now. So we're gonna do, what are we doing? We're gonna do 131 save and plus 20, which will mean that there is $20 into there. Now I know you could never probably have enough for if something super serious happened, but you know what? I wanna be as prepared as I possibly can because I really did not enjoy all of those bills that came out of nowhere. <laughs> I really did not, especially since it was like right when we were first finding out that we were pregnant and we had to pay $4,000 out of pocket. So that was a really huge blow and it made me kind of sad, but you know what? God is so good. <laughs> and literally the times where you think that it's like, oh my gosh, how am I going to make it through? You always make it through. And so I don't know. Next is going to be camping slash vacation. I really want to go camping this year, but I'm a little apprehensive. And this is also a new envelope that I started in 2021. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I've never been camping with the kids, honestly. And I'm like, how is that going to work? Especially since I will be pretty new, newly postpartum. And so we'll see how it goes, but I would love to go on a little camping trip, maybe just for the weekend this year. So we will see. Um, plus 20, same situation here, $5 a household. So this will also go up with another baby. Um, God willing. And so there is $20 into there. And for that, we'll just also do a $20 bill. But I just want to take the kids. I loved camping and we didn't do it very much growing up. So I want to do it more with my kids. Cause I just, I love that vibe. Matt doesn't like going to, uh, campsites. He likes to go out like in the middle of the wilderness and I'm like, yeah, that's great and all, but with a three-year-old, a one-year-old and a newborn, I'm not really trekking through anywhere. So you're going to have to cave into my needs this one year at least. All right. Next is going to be Debt Snowball. Debt Snowball is our car if you are new here. Um, and I pay $47 a month for that because I used to have two bills that added up to 47. And so once I got rid of those, she's being so loud. <laughs> I basically just snowballed that money into my car and we'll pay that towards principal. So one, uh, why can I not think? 131 save plus 47 equals, oh, I keep forgetting to write that I like put it into the bank. So that'll equal $47 into there because I took it out last month. All right, so for that snowball, it'll be 20. 40, 45, 46, 47 into there. So 20, 40, 45, 46, 47. And so what I'll do is I will go in person when I go to Costco. It's the bank that we get our car loan through is right next to Costco. And so I'll just go through the drive through and pay this to them. And then I'll just take it out when I go next Friday. All right, there is that into there. All right, you guys, really quick. I wanna show you guys what I did this weekend. So when I was at work, I printed these out because I thought this would be so much fun. So our goal for 2021 is to get each of our children's savings to $1,000. Um, we have been so incredibly blessed that we've been able to put the kids' stimulus or most of their stimulus into their savings account, which has helped us immensely. And I'm just so grateful for that. 
So every time we get $10, we fill in one of these bubbles and the kids are at 883. So they already have 880 filled in on here, which is just so incredible. So our goal is to get each of their accounts to $1,000. And I just thought this would be such a fun way for the kids to like be interactive. They could color these in if they wanted or whatever. So got these ones all filled out. Thought this was really fun. If you guys are looking for these, it's on the Budget Moms website. So that is a really fun place where you can find some cool resources. And she updates things every once in a while. There's Rosie. She updates uh, different trackers and stuff every once in a while. So I thought this would be really fun for the kids. Other than that, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Sorry it was chaotic in the background, but you know, that is just real life. Sometimes you just don't have silence to film. <laughs> so other than that, I will see you guys this Friday or Saturday, hopefully. And if you are not already subscribed to me, make sure you hit that subscribe button because our family is really awesome here. You guys are so incredible. I love each and every one of you. I just remember literally when I had my very first subscriber, I will never forget the moment I was like, oh my God subscribe to my channel and here you guys all are almost 3,000 of you I love each and every one of you you guys are amazing I love when you comment and just give words of encouragement to each other and yeah anyways have a wonderful day you guys thank you so much bye, -bye.